Emmy award-winning actor Sean Hayes is back on Broadway, taking on the role of Oscar Levant, a talented pianist during the golden age of television. The play Goodnight Oscar by Doug Wright offers a full portrait of the troubled musician who became famous for his edgy and comedic criticisms of show business. And we're happy to say Sean Hayes joins us now. Sean, great to see you. So tell us a little bit about Mr. Levant, someone who was such a legend in his time, but you know, history yeah. in some ways has, has forgotten. Talk to us about him. Yeah, which is what I'm really excited about the play for, is to kind of remind people or uh, uh, introduce him to audiences that don't know him. He was an extremely... Um, funny man, a wit, a humorist, an incredible writer, uh, a virtuosic pianist, and, um, and, but he struggled with mental health issues um, and addiction, which he spoke openly about in the 50s and 60s on live television. So you can imagine back then how unbelievable uh, that was for audiences to hear that. I mean, we have trouble speaking about it now. And uh, so he kind of owned his his mental health issues by speaking speaking about them in a, in a funny way. And uh, he was a pioneer that way. And so uh, the play takes place uh, backstage at The Tonight Show. And it's all these events that culminate into kind of an unforgettable appearance because he was a uh, an often uh, frequent guest of Jack Parr on The Tonight Show. And so in real life, um, Oscar got a four hour pass from a mental health institution to appear on a game show. But for the play's purposes, we changed it to The Tonight Show since people are familiar with The Tonight Show and he was such a frequent guest. And the title, Good Night Oscar, comes from when Jack Parr used to sign off every show with Good Night Oscar Levant, wherever you are because he never knew where he was. Where <laughs> so, he ended Sean, up being. so tell us what, what drew you to the role beyond telling his story. Is, is part of it the idea that he was speaking so openly about mental health challenges, which, as you know, is in our conversation t in today's day and age, uh, you know, has become yeah. much more, much more vital. And also, I have to admit, uh, you yourself uh, also quite skilled on the piano. Oh, thank you. Uh, you'll have to come over. We'll, we'll have a piano party. <laughs> um, <laughs> Delighted no, uh, to <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think, you know, I, I often say if we're not challenging ourselves as actors, what are we doing? And so this is a huge challenge for me. I think that's why I wanted to do it. It was really, really scary. So uh, because I'm nothing like him in, in most ways, and I'm like him in just a little few other ways. And so I, I just enjoyed uh, why not swing for the fences? And if it works, great. And if it didn't, great. Like, it's, it's, a, it's a win win for me either way, just to try to do something I've never done before. Well, you've been nominated for a Tony, so it's safe to say it seems to be working. Let's take a behind the scenes look at how you prepared to embody this musical genius. Okay, what are the other things I need to do? Oh yeah, this is the most important. So, Sean, such a, an emotional, tortured role and a, a grueling one, I'd have to assume, performing mm -hmm. night after night. What was the toll it took on you? Yeah, it's still taking. We're still running. Um, um, it's a lot. You know, it's a lot. It's it's from beginning to end. It's, um, you know, uh, addiction and, and mental uh, struggles are um, in my family tree. So. I've been witness to it. I've struggled with some of it myself, um, mental issues, and um, and I think we all have since the pandemic. But um, uh, yeah, so it's 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 a lot. And and just going back to the story for a bit, he you know Oscar struggled with uh, his friendship with George Gershwin, who he revered, and uh, there was kind of like a love hate going on with with him and, and Gershwin about. Uh, you know, Oscar wanted to be wanted to be as talented in the composition world as Gershwin, but just yet didn't quite succeed. And so I think it kind of ate at him and, and created all kinds of anxiety and depression and a slew of other things. 
So, Sean, you, of course, are, are known and beloved for the character you played on, on Will and Grace. What was it like for you to try to break out from beyond that? So many Americans know you and love you as, as that part, but now you're playing someone very different. Yeah, he's extremely different. You know, um, I, I, you know I, when I was younger, I thought you had to do everything to distance yourself from the thing that made you famous. And then it wasn't until I became older, it's like, oh no, I need to embrace that and 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 acknowledge how much joy that role in that show um, did for so many people. And, ha you know, so many people were affected by it. And so now I just think it's the greatest gift that that's ever been given to me. And so um, I, I love that. Uh, period in my life. I love that character. Character on Never, Never Stop Loving, Jack McFarland. But for me personally, it's it, it's important to uh, try other things, like I said, and and really push myself to be, try to become other people in the acting world. So, Sean, before we let you go, we do have to ask you about Smartless, the podcast you do with Jason Bateman and Will Arnett, uh, conceived during the pandemic of just a bunch of friends hanging out, talking, but you had the microphones yeah. running, and now it has become a, a runaway success. I'm a big fan myself. Talk to us. Does it surprise you that this is something that, that has taken off yeah. and has such a life of its own? Yeah, it's as shocking to us as it is to you. <laughs> I mean, we were all like, uh, you know, sitting around, like you said, um, we've been friends for over 20 years and, you know, uh, to just have an excuse to see each other um, instead of driving our cars everywhere when we were in lockdown and stuff. So we were like, let's do one episode. Let's do five episodes. Let's do 20. And then here we are having the time of our life. It's the greatest thing. They're like my brothers. They're my family. So it's it's like getting to hang out with your your best pals every week. It's super gratifying. It's super rewarding on so many levels. So I love those guys so much. Well, I know I eagerly look forward to the new episode downloading uh, on my phone every week long. It's really great stuff. And of course, Goodnight Oscar is playing now at the Belasco Theater in New York City. Sean Hayes, thank you very much for being with us. Thank you so much for having me.